With the Blade Infusion 120 hitting the shelves at local participating hobby shops and being in stock at horizonhobby.com, I figured I would take the time to give you a step-by-step -step setup on a spectrum transmitter for the Blade Infusion 120 as well as the binding process because it is a little bit different than traditional Blade micro helicopters. So without further ado, let's dive on into it. The first thing that we're gonna do is create a new helicopter model. So first, make sure that the model type is set to helicopter and you're gonna select create. After the model is created, it's going to take you to the system setup. This is where you're going to go down to F mode setup and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that switch one is set to switch B as well as your hold switch is set to switch H. Once the appropriate switches have been set and it looks just like this, you can go back to list and this is where you're going to go down to channel assign. Then for your gear switch, you want to change it to flight mode which is F mode, it's gonna be right after inhibit. After that's done, you can go back to the list and you can go down to frame rate. This is where you are going to set the servo mode to hybrid. Before you go back to the main screen, while you are still in the system setup menu, you can go ahead and go to model name and you can rename this to Infusion 120. At the main menu, you can press the scroll wheel again and go down to Rates and Expo. Here is where you can set your dual rates and expo. You can also assign it to a switch. Typically, people like to use switch F. So for example here, we will have 100% for the top position. And to start off, we are going to set it to 25% expo. And as you can see, whenever we switch down, we can lower this to, let's say, 80% and 25% expo. And then for the last position, we can do 75% right here. And we can set this to 25% expo once again. And you can basically do this for all of your channels. So you have aileron, elevator, and rudder. When you're done setting your dual rates and expo and are back at the main menu, you can press the scroll wheel again. And here is where we can go down to throttle curve. So the first thing that we are going to set up for in normal mode is going to be 0% for point 0.1, for point 0.2, we are going to enter 34%, point 0.3 is going to be 48%, point 0.4 is going to be 55%, and lastly, point 0.6 is going to be 65%. Stunt 1 is going to be 75% for point 0.1, For point two, we are going to have 67%. For point three, we are going to have 65%. For point four, we're gonna have 67%. And lastly, point five is going to be 75%. So as you can see right here, it's almost like a V curve so just keep that in mind. Typically with most micro helicopters, it's going to be a flat curve, but for the Infusion 120, we're gonna have a V curve just like this. And Stunt 2 is going to be the same way, but we're gonna have a little bit more throttle. So point 0.1 is going to be 85%. Point 0.2 is going to be 77%. Point 0.3 is going to be 75%. Point 0.4 is going to be 77% and point 0.5 is going to be 85%. And just like that, we have all of our throttle curves set. Keep in mind that switch H for hold mode is just gonna stay at 0%. With your throttle curve set, we can go back to the list and right below it, we can go to pitch curve. And here's where we are going to set our pitch curve. Stunt one and stunt two are gonna stay the same. The only one that you are going to change is normal mode. So for point one, we are going to have 30%. Point two is going to be 40. And point three, point four, and point five are going to stay at the same percentage values. So just like that, we have our pitch curve set. The last thing that we are going to do is set up a couple mixes. So for the first mix, we are going to set it as a normal mix. The first channel is going to be switch I, just like that. 
And then the second inhibit right here is going to be set to gear. It's just gonna be G-E-R right there. The rate is going to stay at zero. And the second percentage is going to be negative 125. So all the way over to the left. The offset is going to be 100. So all the way over to the right. And the curve is going to stay the same. And the switch is going to be button I right here. So all you have to do is press the button. So you can see that switch I is activated and whenever it's pressed down, the mix is active. This is essentially your panic button. With mix one set, we can go back and you are going to go to the cyclic and throttle mix right here for your second mix that you're gonna set. So for the aileron, for left, we are going to do 18%. Right is going to be 18% as well. For the elevator, up is going to be 18%. And down is going to be 18%. And for the switch, we are going to just change this to flight mode right here. And then the ones that we want this to be active in is flight mode one and flight mode two. And just like that, the cyclic to throttle mix is set. And just like that, the transmitter is configured and set up for the Blade Infusion 120. Let's go ahead and bind up the helicopter. With the canopy off of the Blade Infusion 120 and the transmitter turned off, we can take a two cell 300 milliamp battery or an equivalent battery and put it into the battery tray like so. Plug in the Blade Infusion 120 and here's where it is a little bit different. So what you are going to do is turn the helicopter upside down and hold it until you see an orange flash on the board. And just like that, it may take a little bit of time. I believe the manual said around 15 seconds or so, you can see that we have an orange flash. So now we can hold down the bind button while turning on the transmitter. And just like that, the helicopter is bound and the telemetry is going to auto configure itself. And just like that, the new Blade Infusion 120 is bound to your Spectrum transmitter, programmed and ready to fly.